so many like things. Have like, I should not sit here things. and spend my time telling you information that I've already had to go and dig up. So, on here. You basically, know, like, if you I don't know her. something well enough yourself, give the internet to the child and let the child like, use yeah. it correctly. Seek, like, use the right use way. Teach them the right way. Let them learn it by themselves rather than teaching like, don't them, wrong teaching them like, the wrong information. Yeah, Just let's like teach them. A, like, it's like having a dumb, um, a dumb tour guide at a museum. Let them just you give know? them the internet like, and let them use don't it. Don't sit here and teach what you want to teach just because you don't like stuff. Like what you're saying. Like you have to Wait. go. Let them read everything. They'll come to their own conclusions. You but know? let them read it. Let, let them, them have read, access to it. Let them have it. access to it because they got to have it at some point because at some point they're going to be exposed to it. Like that's just the world. You're going to be exposed to everything at some point. But it's just like what you make of it. And if you learn before you're exposed, you know... You have a better outlook coming out of it if you were not sitting here dealing with preconceived ideas that were ingrained in you from a young age. Like people are talking about, oh, well, racism's dying out or xenophobia's dying out because all the older people are gone. Those older people instilled it into their kids, who instilled it into theirs, who instilled it into people who are my generation. Like, okay. You know, like the stuff doesn't go away. Ooh. In uh, college, how important are life skills? Please teach your kids how to use a washing machine and a dryer so I don't have to. That is the dumbest thing I ever had to do. Like, not, not, um, that's kind of ableist. That's kind of ableist. So they should... That, that was the most tedious thing for me to have to teach to somebody. Because kids are coming. That was very ableist for me to say. I'm sorry. But, like, I came to college to explain myself. I'm sitting here already self-sufficient. You know, I take care of myself. I work for myself. I pay my own bills and everything. I'm trying to learn. You know, I'm trying to, like, move on so I can establish a career. My responsibility is trying to study, make sure it's I get hurt. these grades. I mean, it hurts. It's yogurt. She huh. has a hairy back. Huh. I should not have to sit mm. here and I'm trying to do laundry. I'm trying to do laundry and relax and not think about that. I have to come to the laundry room. Kids don't know how to do laundry. Can you teach me? Teach your kids how to clean up. Teach kids how to clean up. I'm tired of cleaning up after kids. I'm tired. No, teach your kids human, like, basic human civilization, like, Oh my god, the level of these kids, like they'll come to do, act like they don't have any home training. They don't, they'll sit here, like, because Duke is very fancy. They have housekeepers everywhere. And I, I, I guarantee you the amount of um, st students who've actually talked to the housekeepers on a regular basis, but the housekeepers know them, you know? The housekeepers oh, yeah. like hair. When it's like, you sit here, you have such a stuck up nose because you like, act like you're better than everybody. People are people. Like, quit sitting here. Like, get off your high horse. Like, so teach the kids. Be a person. Like, you don't need to sit here and Leo. act like you're Way better. Down. Like, or you're not. Because um, honestly, I, okay, like, it's empty. people sit here like, oh, you think you're Duke, you're better than everybody. I'm not it's crap. Like, like, it's Duke. It's school. Like, I don't know everything. Okay. I'm never gonna sit here and pretend. But you need like, Go get her but by like. Sitting here and acting like, oh, well, my kid is smarter, but then not teach them the basics of living, like cooking and cleaning after themselves. You just set them up for like a bunch of issues. So they need to know that in high school or should they know it before high school? They should have learned that in elementary school. They should have learned that from like before they went to elementary school. Like, it shouldn't have to sit here. Like, I get it's going to have to be honed over time because kids are kids. Well, cooking is different. Cooking is different. What about going grocery shopping? How, what did I, Learn what? how to go grocery shopping. I don't, I don't know. I guess I don't, I know how to go grocery shopping, so I don't really. No, but for the average parent. Because I have said this Take before, a lot of Take people don't understand. Like to, well, I don't know. I'm just. I want them to hear it from you. How I instill, how important it is to teach a child Mom, how to. Going, follow me. Okay. Stop. You climbed on my back. How to budget? How to manage money? How to make groceries yeah, from? Teach your kids how to budget. 
teach kids how to like manage your money. You have to do that from a young age. How to cook and make the meals. When you get off, get off. Stop, Jay. Y'all go in there. When you talk about allowance, don't get, uh, if whatever you decide to do, if you decide to give your kid allowance, or you do save up some kind of money for them. I mean, get like college, yeah. But like, save up something else for them. You know, it's like, give them some, but teach them how to use it, you know? Like, I know if I ever want to have kids and I want to give my kids allowance, what I want to do is like, I'm going to give my kids allowance, but I'm going to take money out of that and be like, you have to save it. You know, you don't have an option. You know, like, that's going to be your, like, you have to understand at a young age that you can't use all of your money and blow it at once because you're not going to have anything saved up for later because those times are going to happen no matter how, like, much you're trying to avoid. Or maybe you want to save up for something nice. Like, you sitting here, like, going for things nice, like, that are nice now, but when it comes time for later and you want to move up, you don't have any money left over. You know? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you just, like, maybe something happens and you don't know, like, it's an emergency and you have to use that money. You know, it would be nice to, like, not have to fall back and, like, end up, like, having to deal with situations. Like... I know I don't want to come back and end up having to move back in with anybody. I know that that's an option, and everybody says it's available if I need it. But it's like I don't want to burn they anybody. Did. <laughs> huh? Huh? What? They did. Papa did. <laughs> oh, he did. Papa want me to oh, back <laughs> Lord, no. <laughs> um, and it's just like I don't. You know, it's like I sh I want to be able to be on my own. I want to be teach your kids to be. Sufficient on their own like, before they even leave for college leave co for college, you know, you shouldn't have to sit here Like I remember you bring it home laundry you Don't no, come on now. Well, I mean I get the free part cuz that's free. I need that They rob you with that come on now that free learn how to do it Don't see you be like you like I was still saved home laundry, but you better do it yourself Don't expect your mom to do it like come on do your own laundry it can be for free. Yeah, but they need to learn how to go to the store and buy the detergent and yeah, all that well. mess, miscellaneous junk. Yeah. Because some parents have no kind of clue. Like trash kids, trash kids. And you can't trash, just, I mean, supplies, yeah, you can send like, your kids, pack them a box of stuff and, and take it with them. Yeah, but, they, yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, I sent you a message. But I don't like that. they need to know how to go to the store and get all that stuff on their own. Yeah. Um... Let them let them schedule appointments for themselves, like doctor's appointments, etc. Most places say they have to be eighteen, so but still, I mean, they need to know how to do help that. Them out. What them. about the the applications? Oh, that was hard. Oh yeah, I remember. I that had was, to help you with that. Job. That was really hard. Like it wasn't like hard as in like it was difficult. It's just a lot of work. So I say help out with that. You know. I mean, don't do all the work, because that's your kid. You know, I get parents are like, oh, I want my kids to go to the Ivy and all that. Ivies aren't everything. Ivies are not everything. No, they really aren't. Uh, the scholarships, how did you find all the scholarships? Well, most of my, schol well, my scholarships ended up being, like, from school, from the schools themselves. I got a lot of scholarships. Yeah, you got a lot of scholarships. You like probably from, got... Like, I got a full ride from UT. I got a full ride from Spelman, just about. I had a full ride from Duke. You probably got about five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 in scholarships if we had it up. Yeah. I got a lot of money in scholarships. I don't know. I didn't have to... I mean, I still applied to external scholarships, but, like, I don't know. I guess because it was based on merit. Like, I just got a lot, you know? I didn't really have to think about that, and I was lucky in that. So it's like, that wouldn't be my forte of expertise, you know? Loans? Oh, God. I have one loan. Why? Because they charged me for health care, actually. Because I needed to get health care last year. So that was, and it's a small loan. Honestly, I could afford to pay it back now, but I'm not going to do that. Put your leg down. Because I want to build up the credit when I leave. Yeah. You, if you pay it off, you build up credit. Students need to understand the credit. 
and how they built that up. Do they get credit cards when they go to school? I'm not getting a credit card. Did I, I, I didn't give you a credit card. I, Did I, get a I credit don't want card? a credit card. No, I take that back. I You're had not one. Cards. I don't no, know. I had credit card. My mom actually gave me credit cards, but I didn't actually. I don't. I, you, I had to pay for them, and I only took one loan for a car, and I paid, paid it back, back immediately. Not, it wasn't even a whole month. Uh -huh. I was just waiting for my my to come back check again. to come in, cause, but I needed that car first, so yeah. I took the loan. But um, I, don't want I paid it right back. Right it wasn't I even 30 days. Up. I'm trying to, like, that's why I got my own phone bill, thankfully, you know? Like, I don't, I want to build up my credit in other ways. I don't want a credit card right now. I don't need a credit card right now. I'm not financially secure enough. My paycheck isn't steady enough for me to be having a credit card right now. I don't know, maybe other people's situations are different. But that's just not me right it's now. It's not a smart idea, that's period, not, for not, anybody. Not, no. Not college or not, you yeah. shouldn't. Hmm? I don't want a credit card. Okay, get up and go. I don't, I'm not a credit card person. I don't think I'm going to get one for, like, for a while, if ever. You know, if I can avoid it, I'm going to figure out how to build credit other ways, you know. Well, unfortunately, society has other plans. Everybody has to get a credit card. That is the day. Yeah. That's my downfall. I need to get one myself. I just refuse to do it because I don't want to owe anybody. But like only people money. It, that messes up your, um, your credit score. See, yeah. I have a perfect credit score, but no credit. So that makes it negative. It makes oh, it look bad. Okay. Because I don't owe anybody and I should owe somebody, which I don't is think stupid. It make sense. It's yeah, like, it doesn't. Like, so. Shouldn't I not be owing people money though? Yeah, like, I ha I've learned that I pay my debts off. Yeah, it's like I and pay I'm my being debts penalized off. for that because the that's world why, yeah, lives on why, credit. That's why I waited to like do the loan that I had because it's like I could pay it off now if I wanted to. I honestly could and graduate so. with no debt, but that's not gonna look good on me. Which is stupid. Uh -huh. If you pay cash for everything, it's gonna, I don't know. Ugh, pay cash. Pay cash. Even on the house, I think we put down a whole bunch of money. Both of them houses. Put down a whole bunch to save everything. All the credit was clean before buying them. Yeah, that's another thing. You want to be able to keep your credit clean because when oh, you yeah, go check, to buy a house. How to check for fraud. Yeah. Learn how to check for fraud because that happens. You Even have when you don't think it's going to happen, it still happens. Mm -hmm. Or you have scares in the base, like, oh, well, something came up. Learn how to check for that, you know? Learn how to, um, I don't know what else. Um, just learn how to be a person. Learn how not to, like, call your parent for every single thing. Because I have people who are like, I had to call my mom every day to, like, see about this or ask about this or you know I need my mom here right now like and I get it you know family's important you know and some people are close but it's like you need to be able to do things by yourself you know and not have to think about that that things I can't cook <laughs> <laughs> learn how to cook. Please learn. I wish you know how to cook, Justice. I know how to cook some things. What? But I tell him I don't know, so I tell them yeah, that I don't know, so he doesn't eggs. make me cook. Learn, learn I, how to I, cook. I, I, I purposely wait, lie, wait. so I don't have to cook. I don't cook eggs. All right. What do you know how to cook? I can make spaghetti. I can make spaghetti and lasagna. I can make anything with noodles. Uh huh. Nobody. Yeah, I, I know can. you know how to cook. You just lying. lying. Um, Don't tell how Dad I said this. Don't tell Dad. <laughs> so he, cause he's gonna make me cook if I tell him I know what to cook. Don't tell him. Just let him watch the video. Oh. <laughs> no, he's not gonna watch it. Learn how to cook before you wake me up at seven a.m. Burning eggs with the fire department talking about I was just cooking. <laughs> well, some kids are used to their mom and dad, but, but then don't cook. Order, order food. Learn how to order some food. Some no, they need out. to learn how to cook. So don't, they, don't, that's don't a life cook skill wake, that a parent don't, don't should, cook and wake me up. Should, should teach their child before. Don't cook and wake me up. Okay? Teach them how to cook. Or like get a waffle maker. Like if you yeah. can't cook, get a waffle maker. No, not even that because then they'll start doing something and forget the waffle thing. The waffles she are swear, in there. No, she said here. I was only cooking the eggs. They smell burnt from my floor. She's a floor up. Wow. Come on now. 
They were burnt. Yeah, I told that. I only told that. I don't know how to cook because he makes me cook so I know how to cook them. So I have other stuff to do, like homework Wait, and theater and sleep. Can I, can I speak I don't want to cook. You are speaking the whole time. Well, it's about college and stuff. It was a college question. So, are you in college? No, but I will. No, be. yeah, so be quiet. Oh. Yeah, Justin is a liar. So, um, uh, you, you told me you were in advanced graphic design. Now you, yeah, no, you I said I kidding. could be in okay. advanced okay. graphic design. Okay, okay, all right. This is the, that's besides the, the point. Um, teacher K had to deal with like talk, like communicate with other people, and not just like one He's specific type that. of people. You know, you like. Friends. Communication and different methods of communication are important because you can't just expect everybody to be on the same communication level. Are the same like are want that same communication method? Okay, go back to the cleaning up. Mm. Oh God! Clean up. You said you had the roommate, the roommate that wouldn't take out the trash. You know how to organize. Girl had stuff. ramen noodles in our bedroom. I was dry so ramen noodles. In the bedroom or on the floor, I don't the know how they have to learn how to respect ass. places. Eight you know how to organize because when they teach lose them stuff, not to I touch other people's stuff, stuff unless uh, unless they ask for permission. Yeah, that's a big because a lot of people, a lot of kids don't yeah. understand that. A lot They're of kids just don't used to that for real. things is, being out. Teach them that like, they don't need to you know, buy a like, lot of stuff. Is doing that with your my parents? current situation with my roommate now, like we're kind of more of like, oh, we can grab stuff. But that's because we're friends, and before we even moved in, we talked a lot of this stuff yes, out, Leah. and we agreed because we knew that we were both gonna put in. You know, like I knew that if she was gonna, if she, if I was gonna eat some of hers, I was gonna replace it. If she was gonna eat it, she was gonna replace it. Why is she doing? What is this for? Leah, y'all been talking about that baby all day. She did that. What up for? Hold up for You know what she's talking about? No. Y'all been talking about her first. What did she say? Wait, hold up for About the. She said, I'll give you a dollar. She said, no, 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 no. No, she said, I'm not going to be able to pull up. No, you, what did you say? You, can she whistle? Yeah, she said, I can't whistle. I need to pull up. Leah, you for? Leah, you need to grow up to learn how to whistle? Yeah, yesterday, because I told her to hold her to balloon him. But like I didn't tell her this. She's like, "Come here, balloon head." This is a man. What are you laughing for, <laughs> David? <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if they don't have a lot of stuff, they don't have clean up. Well. So teach them how to organize and do they need to bring everything they own to college? No. It's no. gonna be a lot easier moving when you don't have all that mess. Leave it. Don't keep everything. Like, throw your stuff away. Like, after end of semester, I usually throw stuff out. Like, throw most of my things out. Boy. Like, it's not like, even when I'm not even moving. What Just kind of stuff. things? Like, papers and stuff. I don't need all that mess. Like, we used to keep, What like, do they need to take to school? Some papers, some pencils, some, like... To live if they're going away. Oh, um, don't people always get toilet paper? Get some toilet paper. Please, get some, please don't force some one person to get all the toilet paper. You better take, very, um, take responsibility. Yeah, every um, college shouldn't have someone to get toilet So, what, okay, what is the difference that you learned from living in a dorm to now living in an apartment? Oh, I hated living in a dorm. Dorm life isn't for everybody. And they poor, what they told me was that, like, oh, you should get, like, a double. You should have a roommate. You're supposed to have a roommate the first year. You're going to need it to socialize. You don't need that. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But not all kids. Like, don't force your kid to get a roommate if they don't want a roommate. Trust your kid's instinct. Because I wish I didn't have a roommate. My roommates were terrible. For the In the dorm. Yes. It was terrible. My hallmates were pretty bad. You know, I had a few good friends, but like, them girls are bad. That's I don't like nobody. I don't trust nobody. You live in an old, old, old girl, not a girl. Like, it was a but the girls in my hall were like who we dealt with the most. Those were, they didn't know how to deal with each other. They hadn't been on their own for the most part. They were very spoiled for the most part. They didn't understand different people's cultures. So they're very ignorant on that. 
they were very racist, just flat out. I can't even like sugarcoat that. Um, my roommate um was just a mess. I need to make a video on that. My roommate was a mess. That's don't problem. slander anybody. That's not slander. It's the truth. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not going to slander okay. anybody. I'm going to say my side of the story. Okay. I'm not. I'm, so now I'm living in an apartment. What is the difference? Um, more independence. I don't need. Well, okay. So wait. Yeah, I see justice. I see. Um, because in dorm you're very like forced to like socialize. You have the RA, where it's like the RAs like come to these events, do all this, and I get that some people want to be around that, but that's not for me. Like I mean, we have right now. No, I do. But what happens is I no, my apartment complex is full of friends. So like I don't. Okay, Justice. Uh, you don't know where I'm staying. <laughs> hey, hey, all um, the old people. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, stop, wait. Let me finish. So, um. <laughs> you know, it's true, huh? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you the side rule. Like, oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to give it right to you. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> so, hey, Justice. No, <laughs> Jamin, her, I need her to finish wait, this. Wait, Lord. Um. It's different because it's like, well, first of all, it's I'm pretty independent. I'm so sufficient. I can take care of myself. I don't need somebody babying me, asking me about this or that. You know, I can take care of myself. You know, I don't need somebody sitting here checking up on me at like 10 p.m. asking tedious questions. Like, I don't know. Like, people, they're just, it's just weird. I can take care of myself. Oh, I don't need you to baby me. Your hat. I, I can yeah. cook Where for myself. Right I can clean for myself. Where? I keep my I'll I keep my space. Oh, clean this is yeah. come here. Yeah. I like this having my go. own space. Like, I mean, I share a room, but it's like, what? Like, we don't like. I don't use the room for pretty much anything other than sleep. So it's like not but even a big thing. The average student is going to end up. Well, everybody is going to end up in a dorm, or they're going to be commuting from home yeah they're not gonna have an apartment unless their parent Pays or they're paying for themselves mm -hmm. they're paying for it I want an apartment. so I, I, if, if, I, if, I, you, if i were to not if how I did you end up in an apartment so early because it's covered it's like it's on campus okay it's on campus and it's covered some people like there's different living situations and living op different living options that you can take take the one that you feel best fits you and work with you if you need to stay at home stay at home if you want to stay there and like live on your own okay we'll go play if you want to like live with roommates live with roommates but like should you make that decision for your child or should your child make that the child, decision let the child do it let you, i mean you should you should help with it like ask this like you should now, talk about it but it's like I, explain the responsibility that comes with each situation because it's okay. the responsibility yeah because some kids get in dorms and get kicked out exactly and it might not even be their fault like I, well we can't say her name no i know what the homeless at howard kid i felt kind of like i get like they were very strict with that i get the safety issue right i get the safety issue and I get that he was, like, they said it wasn't his first offense. However. How? Oh, I know however, what you're talking about. However, you, like, never, never in an adult, they say you're they're preparing them for adult situations. Never in an adult situation are you going to get evicted in one day. Okay. Like, you know, like, be realistic. With okay, you know, go put, it's okay. Go it's put like, it on the table. You know, like, I get, you know, maybe kicking him out was the situation, was how, what you were going to have to do. I get that. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, that shouldn't have been the method. If that's what, you know, if that's what the rule says, then do it. But no kid should have to sit here, be forced, especially sit here away from his family, kicked out one day. Okay, but you I'm know, talking about the person that we know that ended up losing her dorm privileges and now has to live in an apartment that her parents have to pay for over a stupid mistake was basically a lie did she tell you what happened no i haven't talked to her she all. didn't tell you what happened i'll tell you what happened i mean she, her mom told me um, well but it's just like kids need to know that 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 yes there's a responsibility even with living in a dorm yeah, that be, you need to not, not be saying, influenced by other kids. Yeah, I'm not saying, like, because college, you're going to go and do stuff. I get that. You know, you're going to do stuff. Like, if, if that's what you desire to do, you're going to do. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. 
Because that's just Damn. judgment. Go here. You know, like, it's college. You're, 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 you're supposed to figure that out. However, if you know that you're going to get caught and there's going to be a No, you're not going to know you're going to get caught. You know it's wrong, period. Like, don't put yourself in a situation that you know is wrong. Because you're going to get caught regardless. It might not be the first time. Because but you're gonna get caught because this case they had security cameras and that's all they did she basically lied they ran the security camera but she lied because she was more right in the lie than wrong in the lie but the security camera told the story and even though she was in the room and not actually doing anything she lied it was the fact that she lied and said she wasn't even in the room the camera picked her up in a room for at least 15 minutes. I mean, yeah, but like in that situation, like, I get that there's some, some disciplinary action need to be taken, but was it really worth like, No, but it's that serious. Some kids need to know. Uh, no, she shouldn't have been kicked uh, out of the dorm. Uh, and these parents have to foot this bill. She shouldn't have been kicked out. She shouldn't have but, been. But. I get that, I get that maybe some discipline action like, needed to be taken, but it's like. I, like, I don't feel like. Like, don't put yourself in a situation where they can get to you. But honestly. Boy. Like, like don't, like don't, don't put yourself in a situation. Um, I think that happens when kids don't have enough freedom at a certain I point. No, it's not even Sometimes oh, when they are held in a bubble. It's not even that. So I said sometimes could, they could get you out. Stop. 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 And they go away to college and they end up in trouble. I know a couple of more did the same thing in the first year they both came back pregnant okay and that just ruined their careers because of the way they were raised you have to raise the kids in a certain way to put them out the door you know you can't just hold them you give them responsibility give them freedom and hold them to certain expectations is what I'm saying. Uh, Don't just sit there and say, well, because you're, you know, this age, you have to do this, and you have to teach them how to grow up and how to stop do things on their own. Stop kids because I said so. I get it. I get, <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, listen to what I said. Listen, because it's like, I get it at a young age, you know, it's like some kids, sometimes it's like very annoying. It's like, why? But why every single time? Because Jordan was like that every time she asked questions. But it's like, at no, some that's because Jordan is... No, at some point, Jamin. at some point though, you need to stop saying because I said so. Well, that's because that's a blanket answer it's and not, it's, you, you don't understand. You can't blanket everything though. Well, so parents are like that, so that is a good advice. Yeah, just stop giving them, give them an explanation. Give them the actual explanation. Quit like babying them and saying because I said so. Don't shelter kids because you're afraid of what's gonna happen. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. They both came back. They happen to be twins. They both had babies. The one sister ended up actually graduating, and there was a little one. Okay. So yeah, life no. skills, goals. goals. Okay. So set them up when they're in high school to have some sort of like honestly, I just <coughs> freedom and give them an expectation like, or something. I honestly think that was less about like what the student did wrong, and rather than like how they like deal with situations or the school. Uh, well, like, that's, not that's just life. That could happen in a job, too. Some jobs are zero tolerance, whatever. And that's just how it is. You, you mess up, and that's it. I have so many issues with zero tolerance. So that is it. Like, I just, you know, I am less to, less to blame the student for that than to blame, you know, the issue, the structural issue. Uh, so, like, that's just me. I'm not gonna sit here and tell people what they need to do, cause what I need, what I do for myself is not what everybody what do, does for themselves, or what they oh, need to do or what's best for them. So you know that's not my place. That's not my place. That's not my place to tell people you have to do this or not do this. You no, know, it's not saying they have to do it or they have to. I said it's something that. You know, I just don't feel comfortable stepping in and be like, 
I especially I've never been a parent, so I don't need to tell I am you. saying that because you I can that's see. Your view, but like not everybody's gonna have the same view. No, everybody's not gonna have the same view. Whoa. But if I'm looking at what's already Whoa. going on and what's been happening, I can yeah, that advice I can offer. That's not something that's, that's just what I'm that's saying. Just, and that's just your opinion. Yeah, that is just, just my your, opinion. That's just your opinion. Yeah, you know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just looking that. at different situations. I'm just that out so that people don't see and be like... No, oh, yeah, I don't... Just, just, people can judge it no, any way no, they want. No, just like people... Like, you know, like... I want to... You know? No, for the ones that judge, I want to hear what they have to say. The ones that push the dislike button, I want to hear what they have to say because it might be some insight hey, I got some for me. I got some advice. What did you do? Hey, no, this is mine. I'm doing it. Okay, so if you hear one year old, don't. If you hear one of your children say "shut up" to the other sibling, put them in timeout and possibly spank them. Okay. Because that little girl over there tells me to shut up constantly. David. A word I say. Shut up. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, wait a minute. You always talk to me when I'm Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Look at what my Do you need to go to bed? On my page. That was not the basis of this conversation. One friend, it's the truth. Yeah. Okay, but that's not the basis of the conversation. Go put that up. I can speak the truth. I didn't say you couldn't, but that's not what we're talking about. Could you go put the bread up? Go put that bread up. Thank you, baby. I don't know about college. We know. That's why you should have been in here listening. Or you need to be quiet and listen. Or if you're not interested... Go, go in your room. Go in your room with your book. There you go. Okay. Not mine. <laughs> oh, no, I was not. I'm not saying that every child and every parent should hey, do that. I'm just that. looking at a perspective from what I have learned, what I see, what I have talked about with my friends, their experiences with their kids, and stuff like that. Oh, um, yeah, but what people think, I, I, I don't care what people think. Everybody, I don't care what people think, but I need people to understand that what you, what they think, you know, isn't going to be best for everybody. You know, it's like, they're sitting here judging people, what they think is best for them, maybe best for them, but it's not going to be best for everybody. I need to send your daughter. You know? Try to grab it! Like, I get it. You know, do what works for you, but that's not, you know, it's not your, it's not Take your Take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, a lot of people know that. A lot of people that watch my, like, this is why I'm not to call it. channel, they know. They, they, they come and they ask for upfront. I uh, get a lot of messages per, pri in private emails and stuff like that on the side. And it's sometimes, it's actually one I need to answer. But, um, they come to me because I'm just going to tell them, you know, just like it is. Apparently, something that they heard or something that I'm talking about struck more so than what they saw somebody else or they didn't expect. Everybody knows when I do, when I talk, I'm thorough on things. I'm not offending anybody. I'm just trying to cover a whole base. I don't like to just talk, come and talk to people and just... Give them some little mediocre talk and like, okay, whatever, you know, that's not what I'm doing. I'm not here to sugarcoat. That's not my job. Well, this is why I'm going to the Air Force. Okay, Jenna. Always go. Always talk about that. So, I'm, I'm trying to get, you know, get a message across, hit some points that some people don't see on a, on an everyday basis that they might want to know about, you know, questions. Yeah, they don't know who to ask okay, because nobody really talks about stuff like this. And nobody really, like, on the homeschool thing, I mean, a lot of people okay, are taking kids out of school, but nobody really talks about differences from what they learned when the kids were in public school versus homeschool versus going back versus supplementing. You know, people don't talk about stuff like that, and that's the stuff that they should talk about. I feel like regardless of what you do, you supplementing your kid with some kind of work is necessary. But everybody doesn't think that. They think school, public school is the 
the Some thing. Some people wasn't going to teach them anything, though. Did they think me. just send them like to school why? and that's it. I don't know. I'm trying to think why. Why did I put you back in school? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know why I put you in school because I don't know why I put you in school. I I thought um you know what I think maybe because I thought I didn't know what I was doing. There was not a lot of resources, but then when I realized the state we were in, they allowed us to take all the resources and all the everything I needed. They gave me everything. California did that, and I I don't think a lot of people know that. Okay. Oh, uh, that's when I took you out. Oh, you didn't go to school in a couple of days. And I just went and got everything from the district. But then I put you back in because you were getting frustrated. I think you wanted to be socialized. Yeah. Um, that was the only reason why I put you back in. And you couldn't... Your intelligence level. You were too... What did y'all tell me why y'all want to just go to school? Um, why did you want to go to public school? You wanted to be around other people. It wasn't so much the socialization. You just felt, yeah, homeschool was too closed. Like, even now, I mean... Your intelligence level. It wasn't enough even at home to feed your intelligence. You, there needed to be a balance. That's what it was. Yeah. Like, even now, I usually keep to myself. Like, I don't really go out a lot. But it's just, like, being around. The people. environment. Yeah. Because, I mean, I could have done this all on my own. I could, I could still graduate early if I want. Learner. I'm not going to, though. Learner. You know? Javen, stop. Stop. So, yeah, after I had to test and all that stuff, I just said, okay. And then that's when we worked on the, doing the levels of school. And I said, this is how this is going to work. And I gave them all the paperwork. And that's when they said, okay, this is what we have to do because of the status. So they were working. A lot of people do not know that. Yeah, tests are very expensive. Everybody can't do them. Yep. So, I don't know. But, hey, stop. Jamie, stop. Hey, what are you doing? Me? Uh, I'm going on my Instagram. Y'all huh. kids get more education from social I media than the real life. I haven't even been going off Facebook. Call people. Unfollow people. Uh -huh. Why? Because. How do you unfollow she, people? You unfollow. unfollow. Why? Because she doesn't want to follow people. Uh, she weird. You're not weird. She idiot. I want to have more followers than people unfollow. Never. They unfollow everybody. No. <laughs> follow like three people. The downtown fiction. All right, David. Whatever. But they follow you too. Yeah, the downtown fiction follows Justice. On Twitter. Like that. Yeah, they're a rock band. So I do the okay, so Justice should up. focus on what at this point in high school? Facebook, Twitter, uh, education. Uh, Her acting career. Making sure everything is okay generally, but Justice doesn't really have that kind of problem. Um, extracurriculars. Like, not just for like I'm people like talk about oh do it for a resume like do it for fun you I, need to, I'm in theater no I know I know but it's like you need to do something that's gonna balance it out because it's very like competitive at least where I went to school it was very competitive so I needed something fun you know have fun like you know like teach your kid like prepare your kid but like let them know they can still have fun you can still be an adult and have fun you know it's like you can't sit here and like expect, oh, everything's just gonna be boring, Jerry. Like, I get, like, that's gonna happen, you know, because you're gonna work and all that. But it's like, you still deserve to have time to relax, time for yourself. Uh, so. Leah, what are you doing? Playing. Are you hungry, Leah? You wanna go eat? Mm -hmm.
Okay. Say goodbye. You shall not pass. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm frozen. Lily. I froze. I paused. You you look real? Are you going to college? You're not going to college? What you wanna do? I paused. You don't know? I know what Liz's gonna okay. do. She's gonna work at McDonald's. Stop Trevor. <laughs> No. You don't know yet? Well, she does community college and then goes to college. Hi. What if she goes to the Air Force like me? Like what I'm going to do? Leah's going to university. Of she what? don't know what she want to do. Um, She's going to the University of what? I think I'll make a video about my Air Force sophomore year so far. Air Force. That's a lot. University. Uh, to talk. Okay. University of nothing. Javen, I don't know. Where is it? Nothing out of nowhere? Are you trying to record it? Are you getting ready to turn it off? Goodbye. Now, what did you say? University of nothing out of nowhere. Check your. What is your channel? Ryan. Who's the description? What, what is your channel? Blog. What is your blog? Ah, it's educated and that is your channel. Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds all snooty. It sounds snooty because yeah. you're educated. You don't be ashamed of where you came from and what you it are. If that's snooty. the title. You've given yourself. Everybody that knows me is not going to think anything less. You know what? Like, like I said, like, let them judge. I don't, I don't care. But like, they make assumptions. Stop That's all right. No, 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 no. You don't know me. They, they, exactly. They, they don't know. know. They so they're going to watch this hour's worth of footage or whatever. It's probably more than an hour. But they've never seen even this much. I've never shared this much. But they don't know me. So like, they're not going to judge you. Say something about, oh, she thinks she's dumb because she comes from mm -mm. educated. Don't nope. sit down. Because we are the people that live next door. We're the same people. Okay? We're not coming from anywhere. You know? Like, We're not special. I'm not. My I've taught people special. how to live out. Small families, large families. How to live and purchase a house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, manage, you? you know, things like that. Nobody's going to think less. I mean, or think, why you know, you judge you for this. Make assumptions and I'm very tired of people I'm just saying I'm quote unquote smart. I'm gonna get one. And so what if you are? I mean, I don't know. So what? It's just a lie. They're just jealous. Let them hate. There's gonna be haters everywhere and that's what you have to accept. You're not here to please everybody. I'm, I know I'm not, but it's like, don't sit here and put me in a label I didn't put myself into. You know? Nobody's putting you in a label. Like, you know, Everybody is different. Everybody thinks differently of their self. I remember my mom telling me I thought very, she spoke very highly of me because I always um, I was, I, I can't say stellar behavior, but I knew I was smart enough to stay out of certain, to stay out of certain situations. You know, I, I was, I was a smart kid and she knew I would make it somewhere. And so she was proud. That's a bragging right. Don't, you know, don't be ashamed of being smart. It's, it's cool to be a nerd. I mean, I'm fine being a nerd, but just. And don't worry about what other people are going to say. Alright guys, check out our channel. Hi, What's up with Monkey?